Hey YouTube, it's Emery, and welcome back to my first year on tea. This week I'm gonna talk to you about how to change your name in the great commonwealth of Virginia. So, I have legally changed my name here. I'm gonna break everything down super simply just so if you don't know these words that I'm using, you can do this yourself still. I wanna make sure that I'm reaching the most people as possible. To start, you can go online and Google legal name change in your state. So I did legal name change in Virginia. And, and then I found that you're supposed to go to your circuit court, wherever you're from. Um, so I, Googled the county that I live in and that circuit court name and on their website they have name change forms so you go online you can type it in or print it out and then write in um, all your information it'll have you talk about your birth name which kind of sucks that you have to write it on there you have to write it kind of a lot when you're getting your name changed to say I'm changing from this name to this name um, and so I had to write in my birth name um, your state of birth, the hospital that you were born in, um, a bunch of stuff like that, um, and then what you want to change your name to, including your middle name, which you can do at the same time as your first name. I kept my middle name, um, so I didn't have to change that. But you fill out all of that paperwork about who you are and your social security number and everything so they know that it's you, and then, um, you have to take the paperwork to a notary. Basically what a notary is, it's a person who legally is saying that you, the person who is filling out the paperwork, is the person that they say they are. So it's kind of just a second step to make sure that nobody is changing your name for you. Um, but there's several of those checks along the way and you can probably Google like local notary for you again, but um, I luckily have a friend who's a notary, so I got to go and see her. So after you have gone to the notary and filled out the paperwork, they've stamped it off for you and everything is completed, you go into your circuit court. So again, whatever website that you got your paperwork from, whatever your county's circuit court is, um, walk in. And you're not allowed to bring your cell phone, you get checked in, you may get patted down, there's security at the front, so that's, prepare yourself for that, that's annoying. Um, and then going into my actual circuit court where I filed my name change, nobody asked any questions about why I was changing my name or anything about what my actual name was to be. There was no question about like, oh, this is like a guy's name. Not that Emery is like a specifically very male name. It's gender neutral, but um, I just felt good because I didn't get questioned about anything, so that was nice. So you go in, and I think I paid $35, $40 just to file my name change with them, and they take all my information, the paperwork and stuff, and they have you fill out a secondary form just to confirm that like your handwriting is the same, it's the same person, you're still confirming that you wanna do this and everything, that's another one of those checks um, to make sure that it's you. You have to bring your ID. Um, I think I brought my social security card just in case, I can't remember if they asked for it. And then you pay the fee and they take it and they file it for you. When I went in, they told me that it would take, I think six to eight weeks minimum. I'm pretty sure that's what they said. Um, and so they took it and I continuously called back. Um, I called back at six weeks, seven weeks and eight weeks and they weren't done yet. I think it ended up taking the full eight weeks. It was like just after eight weeks, they ended up mailing me my approved name change back. Um, and then that piece of paperwork is extremely important. You can't lose that. I think you can go and probably get a duplicate of it if you go back to the circuit court and have them re like look it up and do the whole thing, but it'll probably take weeks to get that again. Um, so make sure whatever they email you, or mail you, I'm sorry, back, you keep that paperwork because it proves that you went and got your name changed and it was approved. So once you have that, what I did was I went directly to the social security office and I brought my social security card and my DMV ID. You bring your name change form and I don't think they copy it, I think they physically take it from you and then mail it back to you. So you, there's a period of time where you have no proof that your name has been changed, which really like stressed me out, but um, I think they need the original copy to prove that it's real. So um, 
yeah, they take that. I think that only took like a week to process that my name was changed on my social security card. And then they sent it back to me within like maybe two weeks, week and a half, something like that. So it was pretty quick. Then once you have your social security card and your name change information back to you, you can bring that to the DMV. For me, they forced me to take a new photo. <laughs> so be prepared if you're getting a new, your DMV card changed with your name changed on it, um, that you know that you're going to take a photo if you live in the state of Virginia to replace your old photo to go with your new name. And I'm not gonna break down how to change your name at banks or anything. You just go in and talk to them. You can make an appointment if you want and they'll um, just bring all your documentation again and they'll change it. And then in any other organization, the same thing. You can either walk in or call online and if they need you to walk in, they'll tell you. So that's about it. That's kind of a lot of information, but um, I'm hoping that this is, serves as a resource where people can go back and go through the steps that I listed in this video to help them change their name if they live in Virginia. And just a disclaimer, you may have a completely different process if you live in a different state. Like I can't speak for Iowa or California or something. In some cases you may have to go be seen before court, which is like a longer process. You'd have to actually go and be seen and pay a court fee and see a judge and talk to them about it and that kind of thing. But the secondary thing that we're talking about is changing our gender marker. I have not changed my gender marker. Um, I identify as non-binary, so I kind of don't have um, an option to change my gender marker in the state of Virginia to something other than male or female. And um, being assigned female at birth, it still has an F on my card uh, for anything or any paperwork that I have to fill out still has an F on it. And that does bother me. <laughs> Something that really still is an issue for me is writing an F on a form and then writing the name that I changed my name to because it feels like writing that F and then writing the same, like my new name on a form is um, associating those two things with each other and I don't like that. <laughs> um, so I may end up changing my gender marker in the future um, I'm just kind of worried about how that will affect insurance coverage for things that would normally fall under uh, the female category. Um, so certain exams or um, procedures and uh, things like that that would just typically be covered because you're female. I'm scared of losing that coverage because my gender marker says male. So that's something to consider, but definitely it's more often um, that it bothers me because I'm just writing the female on the same card as my name. Uh, so I guess it's starting to outweigh my worry about paying extra money to get procedures because I deal with writing female next to my name more often. So I don't know, we'll uh, see how that goes. I'm getting top surgery first and, and I have to get them to write a letter to confirm that I've had a gender confirming surgery so that somehow is a reason that I am now able to put an M on my card suddenly because I had a surgery that has to do with my gender, which is insane. But either way, I have to get that first before I change anything else. Um, but I hope this video helped somebody out there who wants to change their name legally. And uh, yeah, if anybody has any questions about name changes or gender marker changes, I will do my best to answer them in the comment box down below. Please put those down there. I really wanna help out some of you guys and um, like this video if it helped you at all or if you just enjoyed listening how to change your name um, and subscribe to see me every Friday and to see the other guys on the rest of the days of the week. Um, thank you for watching. Okay, bye.